Hello everyone. This is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see who is coming toward you currently when it comes to love. This reading is for everyone of every zodiac sign. So feel free to switch the energies around as needed. All right. So I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck. So let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy for who is coming toward you. We have butterfly feelings. Sexually addicted. We also have the hanged man. And we have the hermit card in reverse. All right. So when it comes to who is coming toward you. Someone's returning. Okay. This is someone that's very self-absorbed. You may have been isolating yourself from this person. Some of you turn your back on them. For others of you, they may have turned their back on you. Regardless, this person is coming back toward you. A lot of you have chosen to just let go and let things flow. You're no longer trying to control the narrative. So some of you have not really been taking much action toward this person, okay? But because of you letting things go and just letting things flow in a divine manner, I feel as though it's making this person feel powerless because for some reason, um, even though this person has stressed you out at times or even though there's something about them that bothers your spirit, I feel like for some of you, there was some type of attraction that you had for this person. So regardless of if they were stressing you out or not, I feel like you were motivated to either see this person or to try and make things work or to at least take action toward them in some way, shape or form. And about the spirit, okay? When it comes to this person, for some of you, whenever you're dealing with them or whenever you're connecting with them, your spirit does not feel at ease. There's something off about this person very off okay i do feel as though they're nervous to come toward you but they're gonna do so anyway for some of you they're nervous because they feel as though you may have really let them go this time around also they are sexually motivated so keep that in mind but yeah this is someone that i'm not gonna say that they're not wise but I feel like this person is so self-absorbed that they do things out of ego for their own selfish intentions. Also, this person is supposed to be going through a spiritual awakening right now. So the pause, the delay, the um, surrendering of this connection, whether you surrendered it or whether they surrendered it, whatever's going on between the two of you where there's been a pause, it's supposed to bring this person to a spiritual awakening but it's making them uncomfortable. So they're completely disregarding the spiritual awakening. Like this is someone that, like I said, they're self-absorbed. There's a need for spiritual growth here. You not taking action toward them or you surrendering this relationship, it's supposed to make this person go within themselves, but they don't feel comfortable being alone. They don't like spending time by themselves. They get uncomfortable being alone. And it's mainly because with the hangman card, they get in their head. But what they don't understand is that's a part of the spiritual awakening. They are not um, walks in the park. Spiritual awakenings are, oof, they will really take you down through there if you're not strong. So yeah, I feel like this person is so used to you being the one to reach out. You being the one that um, comes toward them. Or you taking action toward them. And since you haven't been doing that, a lot of you have really been still. I feel like it's making this person feel as though they have to do something. When they do come toward you, spirit wants you to be careful about reacting quickly. Be slow to respond. Delay your response if you have to, okay? Be be slow to react because it's going to be very important for you to operate out of your higher self, okay? Um, it would be unwise of you to rush things with this person, even if you do want to be with them again, okay? It's going to be very important because you not reacting, you being slow to take action, that's what's going to help you stand in your power, 
Hmm. But yeah, this person, they're lonely. That's all it is to it. And there's something about you. Only you is at the bottom of the deck. So when it comes to this person, I feel as though you're the only one that makes this person feel a certain way. You're the only one that they get on edge about. They want the two of you to be on the same page here. But like I said, they're nervous about it. We're going to see what else comes out. But yeah, be careful about reacting too quickly. Be slow to react. Um, delay reacting or delay responding to this person if you need to because it's important to move in a very wise way. You don't want to either stunt or renege on your spiritual growth because you guys have really gone through some type of awakening here, some type of spiritual awakening where you are enlightened. And this person, they're refusing to go through their spiritual awakening. They're ignoring the call. They're on the wrong path. Because for one, they're operating out of ego. So yeah, when it comes to this person, they have been holding back from, from you. But they do feel a lot of passion toward you. I feel as though um, for some of you, this person's going to gain the strength to come toward you and let you know how they feel. They may give you a love offer, but they're definitely going to let you know that they have feelings for you. They're hoping that you react with positive vibes or what they see as positive vibes. Hmm. The temperance card in reverse. So... Like I said before, this person was trying to be patient. They were trying to hold back because they were hoping that you would come toward them showing some type of affection. Those of you that didn't react or if you've just been letting things flow, it's caused this person to be imbalanced. Okay, so they can no longer suppress these impulses that they're having to come toward you but keep in mind that their energy is very wishy-washy they're going to come toward you with very mediocre type of energy and if you don't respond to the way that they come toward you with positive vibes or what they feel are positive vibes they're going to start doing things that are extreme they're going to be doing the most they have become impatient here okay the two of you just do not align with one another. You're not equally yoked with this person. That's obvious. They're not ready to let you go with the two of wands being in reverse. For some of you, they acted out of impulse and chose someone else over you. Not for all of you, but for some of you, they did. Now, because um, this person is feeling the need to come toward you or they're having these impulses, for some, they don't really know how they're going to come toward you but they feel as though they have to do something and for others of you they have a little bit of a plan but they're unclear on how things are going to go regardless this person just feels as though they have to take action see that's why they feel powerless because they're used to you being the one that's taking action but a lot of you are just letting go i'm um, going with the flow okay and so it makes them feel powerless they are looking for wish fulfillment with you. For some, this person is drinking or they're doing something excessively to try and um, control their passionate energy or to try and control their emotions. It's almost like they're doing something to try and keep themselves calm. Now, for some of you, it may be drinking. For others of you, they're going out a lot. Um, and for some, it could even be them doing drugs or smoking cigarettes there's just something that they're doing this person when they do come in it's going to be very important for you to not conform to doing things the way that you used to okay that's going to be very important because this person thinks that they know you like the back of their hand so it's very important for you guys to keep your boundaries up but also don't react the way that they expect you to so if you normally um, are quick to respond don't be quick to respond now okay if you normally give this person a lot of emotion don't give them all of that emotion this time so however you usually react to this person 
it's going to be very important for you to react in a different way, react in a way that is of your higher self, but also act in a way that um, is going to keep your vibration positive and strong. Some of you are leveling up spiritually. Your gifts may level up. And see, for some of you, because this person chooses to not embrace their spiritual awakening, I feel like because this person could have gifts too, but they're suppressed. Not for all, but for some, they have gifts too, but they're not playing by the rules. They're on the wrong path. So for some of you, you're leveling up spiritually. So like I said before, the two of you just are not equally yoked. This person, they're um, possibly even a hypocrite. Hmm, it's weird. But the five of cups in reverse. So that's why they feel like they have to do something. That's why they're so impulsive. Because they feel as though the fog has lifted for you. So for some of you, at one point in time, you may not have been seeing things clearly um, you may have been unsure of your future with this person or they may, there may have even been times where you felt as though um, you wouldn't be able to move on or get over this person. Baby, the fog has lifted with the five of cups in reverse. They feel as though you have started to accept what has happened and that you are recovering. But see, they need for you to stay in balance. They need for you to um, be impulsive. They need for you to take things to extremes. You're not doing that anymore or a lot of you won't be in the near future. So because they feel as though you're getting over them or you don't feel the same way that you used to, that's why they're going to start doing the most and they're going to come toward you with this very extreme energy. And for some of you, the reason why they were wishy-washy or very fickle with you at some point in the connection, it was because they feel as though it kept you there, like it kept you wanting them. And it doesn't make it true, but they felt it so you would never be able to get over them. Because I'm gonna tell you, for some of you, when you first met this person, you thought you had met your nine of cups, okay? Someone that you were very happy with, someone that satisfied you, okay? But as time went on, I feel as though once you started to really get to know this person, they switched up. They became um, fickle. They were very in and out. They were very imbalanced when it came to their emotions. There were times where they would show love for you. There was times where they wouldn't show love. There was times where they would come off very passionate toward you and like they couldn't hold back and this, that, and the other. And then all of a sudden, they acted like they weren't even interested in you. They feel as though by being wishy-washy, that would prevent you from ever getting over them. And mainly because they needed for you to be stuck in the past in regards to how they used to be. The person that you met, the person that you were happy with, the person that satisfied you. But now with this nine of cups, you guys are, you get your satisfaction from within. Your arms are, are folded. So I feel as though you guys are not seeking validation in anything outside of you. You're learning to be content with yourself. You're learning that um, with or without this person, you're good. So that's why some of you are stronger now. You're able to um, hold back. Whereas before, at some point in this connection, you may not have had that type of inner strength. Hmm. They do love you with the King of Cups here or there's strong feelings for you. Very strong feelings. They're just not ready to let you go, okay? And they may be restless. This person may not be sleeping well. They're, they may not feel good. This person may need to see a doctor or something. For some of you, they're recovering from something. This could even be energy of someone that is recovering from a hangover. It could be as simple as that. Or there is some mental recovery that's needed. It's mainly men mentally. This is someone that's tense. They're unable to relax. So you definitely have this person on edge. And it's mainly because you're standing on your own. You're looking good. Smelling good. Okay? Like you're enjoying the fruits of your labor. You're focused on yourself. Hmm. And even though some of you invested a lot, you're moving on to the unknown. 
You're not worried about how things will turn out. Or if you are, you don't need to be. For some of you, I feel like this person's strategy was to keep you in deception and confusion, to keep you anxious and fearful of um, of certain things, whether it was the future between the two of you or just keep you in the dark about certain things about them or things that they were doing. But a lot of you are definitely moving on from turmoil. It's like, okay, I invested here. I took a chance with this person, okay. It will. It didn't pan out. It didn't work. Let me move on. Some of you may still want to invest with this person, but you're unsure of it. You may feel like this person is very deceptive. I feel like this person just brings a lot of um, a lot of weird energy. Like some of you, even if you've dealt with this person for quite a while, you may feel like you don't completely even know them. But regardless of the time that you've invested, a lot of you are just ready to let go. Some of you have moved on, but regardless, I feel as though you're a lot calmer than what you used to be. Some of you have found peace and it feels good, doesn't it? <laughs> there is nothing like peace. All right, so we're gonna pull a few more cards and we're gonna see what else comes out. All right, Holy Spirit, when it comes to everyone with the Zodiac sign that watches this reading, who is coming toward my viewers when it comes to love? At the time that my viewers watch this reading, who is coming toward my viewers when it comes to love? At the time that my viewers watch this reading. Two more shuffles. All right, so let's see what else comes out. All right, so we have heating up. So someone feels as though passion has been ignited or someone wants to heat up the passion that they feel as though you may still have for them. Also with the heating up card being here, this person may have a little bit of a temper, okay? But regardless, those of you that have really surrendered and you're just trusting in divine timing those of you that are not forcing things to happen i feel as though it has lit fire under this person's butt but like i said keep in mind that they may come toward you with some chaotic energy because fire is chaotic hmm. give me more who is coming toward my viewers when it comes to love at the time that my viewers watch this reading all right, money hungry. So this person may not be financially stable. For some of you, they're looking to try and get something out of you. If, even if they're not trying to get money out of you specifically, this is someone that's very money motivated, okay? Mm, 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 mm. For some of you, this is the type of person, they open their heart to people they feel will give to them, like give them gifts, people that will do things for them, people that will make their life easier. Money talks to this person. Money talks to their heart or material possessions do. So they're definitely um, money hungry. Also, and this isn't for everyone, but for some of you, this person may try and buy your heart. They may try to buy you something or do something nice for you. It's all a way to get you to open up your heart, okay? Money can't buy love. Give me more. Who is coming toward my viewers at the time that they watch this reading when it comes to love? All right. So we have, I choose you. <laughs> Thank you for the confirmation, Holy Spirit. Now, I was telling you guys before in the overall messages that this person may have chosen someone else over you at some point in time. And things just are not panning out with the decision that they made. So now they're coming back saying that they want to be with you. So I choose you lets me know and lets you guys know as well that they had options. So now they want to choose you. Now they want to come up with a solution. They want the two of you to resolve things after they didn't handle your heart carefully. Now, I'm not telling you guys not to let this person back in at all. It's completely up to you. All I'm saying is that if you choose to let them back in, the person that you let in, this is someone that you would not feel um safe with you wouldn't feel content this is someone that makes unwise decisions 
They do things when they know better. This is someone that's all for themselves. They need spiritual growth. But at the same time, they don't like seeing things from anybody else's point of view. So it's up to you if you do want to resolve things, if you want to come up with a solution um, when it comes to this person. But this is someone, it looks like to me, they're looking for someone to save them. And it don't work that way. You need to save yourself, okay? Because we have our own work here to do. We all have things that we have to do here on earth. And we don't have time for that because you guys have gone through a spiritual awakening. For a lot of you, like I said, you're leveling up spiritually. Your gifts may be leveling up. You have um, a purpose here and they do too. But this person chooses to walk, to walk the wide path, the worldly path. You guys, most of you are on the narrow path. Mm -mm. they can't be alone that's a huge red flag what is it about this person where they can't be alone they don't want to be alone because those demons start whispering they can't be alone with themselves because they're too in their head mm. give me one more card let me stop before I start preaching <laughs> okay so um who is coming toward my viewers please holy spirit when it comes to love at the time that my viewers watch this reading and i'm sorry guys if i come off as very passionate at times but i really do care like i don't just flip cards and go to talking like i really really do care about each and every one of you i don't have to know you to care about you i don't have to know you personally all i know is that you have trusted me with um advice you have trusted me to lead you in the right direction. So that's enough for me. So I have to do my part because if not, I will be held accountable. Thirsty for attention. So that card came out crossing. I, I want to say something like this came out in the last reading that I did in regards to their um, true feelings for you currently. And I was telling you guys, those of you that did watch that reading, I was telling you that this person was going to start doing things to try and get your attention. Well, it co it's coming out in this reading as well. They're thirsty for your attention. So they're going to start doing things, doing weird things um, to get your attention. I told you, self-absorbed. At the bottom of the deck, getting into trouble. So for some of you, this person may come toward you trying to get your attention by making it seem as though they've gotten into some trouble. Now, for some of you, this person could end up getting in some trouble, okay? Um, also, I just don't like this card because with the Thirsty for Attention card coming out crossing, with it crossing, there's an issue with this person getting your attention. So... That means that a lot of you aren't going to fall for it or you're not falling for it if this person is already in the energy of doing this. And if you don't fall for it, like I said before, for some of you, this person, you know, they could get a little angry. They could get chaotic with their actions or possibly their words for some of you. And, you know, there's a police car. So just be careful. Be careful when it comes to them. But this person, for some of you, they may do some reckless things. And this is specific. Take it if it fits. Leave it if it doesn't. For some of you, um, if this person, there may have been a time in the past where you encourage this person to stay out of trouble or they know that you don't like them doing certain things. Some of you were kind of protective over this person at some point. They may start doing reckless things, hoping that, they'll be able to get attention for what they're doing. Mm, 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 no. And it's mainly because they feel as though you're not into them. All right. So that is the reading, everyone. If you guys resonated with this or if you liked this reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time. Bye.